Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort, Marina, Lake Taney Como. Going to do one cast today. It's Monday the 17th, I believe. Well, this is what I'm going to use. It's a mohair leech that's uh, a bead head. It's about a number eight or so. Got about 3x tippet to the fly. They're running f all four units here just a little bit ago and they've cut it down to maybe two. This is, I had something in mind when I came up here, but the water's not cooperating, so not what I want to do. But I kind of made a commitment. And maybe the water will slow down a little bit. Oh. Hmm. oh, had a rise blow me. Okay. Oh, I think I better slow the phone motor down a bunch. Fishing's pretty tough today, according to most people. Yeah, this is the official cast, because I'm not ready yet. What I'm gonna do, is work the water directly below me, and kind of slow the boat down. While I work this, little streamer. I've never tried this before, so. I kind of got the idea last night about 10 30 been wanting to do this water was off took the boat out there wasn't any wasn't any um, any current at all water was off There's a couple over on the bank, I'm afraid they're getting a lecture about using bait. I boated up to the narrows and I used this this fly. And I've done a lot of streamer fishing at night. Ooh, that was a horrible cast. Hopefully I didn't mess up. Uh, I got a big loop in my leader. Kind of, kind of move over toward the bank a little bit. Oh, I got more than a loop. Oh, please. Come out, come out. Oh no. I should have been paying more attention. I just threw a big loop in my line and I've got a couple of knots in here. Actually been kind of sloppy with my knots and I've got tails on them and everything's caught. I think I might have it. Okay. Now those guys on the bank's got a minnow bucket, so 
kind of obvious. Fishing like some minnows or something. Um, anyhow, I got up there and there's a little bit of current, which there usually is in the narrows. Got up there about 10, 30, 11. And um, the only way I could get bit is to throw in pretty much downstream. Straight downstream or just a little, little angle off downstream and letting it straighten out and then bump it. And I stayed out to about 1230. I caught probably 20 rainbows. Nothing big. The biggest was about 17 inches. A little disappointed in the in the size, but my gosh, that's why I landed. Had a lot of bites, a lot of fish on, lost. Just a lot of action. It was a lot of fun. So I wanted to get up here and try this when the water was dropping, but I was hoping for a lot lower water not two units. But you never know. I'm going to get down below its outlet too and A lot of times with that fly, it straightens out. That's where you're going to get a hit. Not sure why that is. Urgh. Now I'm just experimenting. Different retrieves. I know I'm not getting much depth, which is fine. The water's not that deep in here. Fish will come up for it. Try it straight across. Keep stepping on my line. Last night they would not hit it throwing straight across like this. They'd only hit it throwing downstream. And working it back up. Granted the uh the current was just barely moving, but it was moving. Oh. Now I'm getting into some really shallow water down at three and on this flat, so. Hopefully, I'm going to see some, some action here. I'm trying to hold my rod <coughs> close to the water not to get that bounce. This is a really good spot. There's a ditch right here I want to throw over the top. Kind of missed it.
stop seeing fish. Go back to slowing the boat down and letting it swing. Usually those fish will start midging and coming up. But I, I don't see any midges coming off yet. I think what I'm gonna do is work this until I get down to the deep water and then I did bring a spin rod. I was gonna throw a jig for a minute. It might be the only action I get tonight. No, it was a real bright bluebird day. Not a lot of wind until later, late in the morning, early afternoon. They cut the water on, and it was tough. Uh, oxygen levels around six. That's not bad at all. You really can't blame it on the oxygen levels. I know some people are talking about that quite a bit, and I probably started that. There's some fish on down here that are starting to midge. I need to get down there. Hustle down. See, there's one right there. So really, it's from this waterfall down. There's kind of a seam here where the fast water meets the slow water. That's where a lot of these fish are coming up and midging. So I've got fish that are looking up right now. So that's what I wanna that's what I wanna throw at. You know, I'm kinda of throwing at the camera, but I can't help that. That was a nice fish. Jackson, what are you doing? 
I'll get right under my feet. Oop, I have a bite. Yeah, a lot of fish are midging now. Wow. I do have on my other fly rod a sculpin streamer. I could try that. It's a lead eye sculpin. It's heavy. Goes to the bottom pretty quick. Kind of like a jig. This is a really good reach that I do a lot with streamers and soft tackles and cracklebacks. Just a real fast short strip and then a stop. The idea is you get a fish following it. And it's fast enough, he's following it pretty fast and then when you stop it, he's either got to pull off or hit it. A lot of times the strike comes right right after I stop. But they just are not interested. Right. Couple cast out here in the middle and then I'm gonna I'll throw the jig for a minute. Sorry Jack. I'm gonna make Move you around again. That was a nice fish. Yeah, they're just they're eating edges, they're not interested in chasing this streamer. Okay. Well, I did get the water kind of the, still a little high that I wanted, but let's experiment. I wish I could, um, wish I could video my night fishing, but it's too dark. Now let's see if we could catch a fish on it jig real quick. I threw this last night for a short time. Didn't catch anything. This is a try olive. Try olive dark. Um, might be a 16th. I'm only going to try a couple casts because I've got a. There's no fog again tonight. There wasn't any last night. The humidity is low enough that there's no fog, which is awesome. Jumping all around me. It's 
set them up. He didn't hit it very hard, but he bumped it. I think that's a hoot owl. One more. There's some nice fish out of here, Midgen. Nice, I got it all of myself up here. That was a bite. Well, I got a bite, so I got to throw it again. Oh, nail that. Got to throw again and got a bite. I got to move the boat just a little bit. Boy, they are gulping those midges. You need to gulp this. This jig. like the angle down here a little better. This has got to be the last cast because it's getting dark. Yeah! Feels like pretty good fish. Yeah. No, I thought. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> he really did. He had a real big head shake. Hmm. He didn't fight. That's not a good sign. If they don't fight, that means the auction is low. You know, sunlight and wind add oxygen to water. That's why the oxygen content does get better during the day. And especially if the wind picks up, adds a little bit more. Also, in a river, stream, 
you know, when that water goes over the rocks, that adds oxygen. So nighttime is not the greatest time. There's no additional oxygen added to the to the water. Um, all last night when I I took the oxygen reading at midnight, 12:30, it was uh, 6.5, which was really good. I was very surprised. Of course, the fish were very active. Um, and they fought hard. Sorry, I cast it a couple more times when I said I wasn't going to. Okay, I gotta go. Oh, I got a bunch of moss on it that time. Okay. I it really came up here on kind of a hoping that they would do the same thing with the water as it did last night. They didn't. Uh, they ran it longer than they. This is what I was hoping for when I first got up here. Is it's it's starting it's dropped from two to one now. It might even be off, and it's just draining out. But there's hardly any current now, and uh, the levels starting to drop out pretty good. But that's what I wanted up here throwing the streamer. Actually, I still should be throwing the streamer, but I'm out of time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.